Hello children, the topic for class 10 today is sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression. We had learned in the previous class about the nth term of an AP. To find the nth term of an AP, the formula that we used was an is equal to a plus n minus 1 d. Right? Where an was the nth term, a was the first term, n the number of terms and d the common difference. Okay? Today we are going to learn the sum of n terms of an AP. The formula is given by Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 b. Okay? So, this is the formula for sum of n terms of an AP. Now, I will derive this formula for you to see how this the formula came into place. The thing is, this uh, derivation is not from the examination point of view. So, you do not have to study this derivation. It is only for your information. Okay. Now, let us take an AP. Okay. Now, supposing I take an AP, what, what is the AP equal to A, A plus D, A plus 2D, plus, I mean, etc., up to A plus N minus 1 D. This will be my AP. Now, supposing I want to add all these terms. Okay. If I have to add all these terms, I will get the sum of N terms. So, what is SN going to be? A plus a plus d plus a plus 2d yes plus etc up to plus a plus n minus 1 d. Now this is the sum of n terms. Now the same sum I can find from the last term isn't it? Because addition of numbers is commutative. You can add this way or that way you will get the same answer. So Sn is also equal to, I am going to start from the last term, a plus n minus 1 b, okay, plus the next term will be a, the one before this will be a plus uh, n minus 2 d, yes, plus etc. up to a plus 2 d, plus a plus d, plus a. So this is how we will get both the sums. Now I am going to add these two equations. If I add these two equations, I will get twice the sum of n terms is equal to. I am going to add the corresponding terms. The first term and the first term. Second term and the second term and so on. So what will happen when I add the first term with this? I will get a plus a will be 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Correct? Right? Plus, now I am going to add a plus d and this term. When I add a plus d and this term, a plus a will be 2a plus, now this is d is here. Now the d term that is here is minus 2d. When I multiply, I get minus uh, n minus 1d, isn't it? And I will get minus 2d. So when I multiply n minus, uh, uh, when I subtract plus d and minus 2d, I will get minus 1d. So, I can once again, I will get n minus 1 d, right? Like this, if you notice, all the corresponding terms, if you add, you will get the same term, that is 2a plus n minus 1 d. <coughs> now, how many of this is there? It will be n terms, isn't it? Because we are adding n terms, so this 2a plus n minus 1d is also going to be n times. So, 2sn is also equal to, this will be n into 2a plus n minus 1d. Okay? Then, what is sn? We need sn, right? So, sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d. So this is the formula to find the sum of n terms of an AP. Okay, now if the last term is given also, there is another formula. Let us see how this formula can be simplified into that form. Now this same formula, Sn, I can write it as n by 2 into, instead of 2a, I am going to write a plus a. And then write the next term, that is plus n minus 1d. So what will I get? 
This will be n by 2 into a plus a plus n minus 1d is actually the nth term. Correct. So what will you get here? This will become n by 2 into a plus n. So we have 2 formula that for SN. SN is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d. This is the regularly used formula. If the last term is given, we can go in for this formula also. That is SN is equal to n by 2 into a plus n. I hope you have understood. Now based on this, we will do a few sums. Okay. The first sum that I would like to do is Supposing you have an AP, 8, 3, minus 2, etc. Okay? Now they want sum of, find the sum of 22 terms. Okay? So if this is my question, what happens? What is A equal to 8? And uh, what is D equal to 3 minus 8, which is equal to minus 5? Correct? Then, what is n equal to? Find the sum of 22 terms. So, n is equal to 22. So, what do we have to find? Sum of 22 terms equal to question mark. So, let us write the formula and substitute. So, what is the formula? Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d. Okay? So, what will you get here? S22 is equal to 22 by 2 into 2 into 8 plus a is 8 n minus 1 is 22 minus 1 that is 22 minus 1 into differences minus 5 okay so when i cancel here i get 11 so 11 into this will be 16 expand the bracket minus 110 minus 5 into 22 is minus 110 minus 5 into plus 1 I mean minus 1 is plus 5 okay so this will become 11 into 21 minus 110 so that will be 11 into minus this will be uh, you'll get 9 and uh, this will be instead of 8 you get Okay, minus 89. So what will your answer be? Minus 89 and 89 will be 979. 9, 9, 7, 9. So we get minus 979 as your sum. Okay, so this will be my uh, sum of 22 terms. Okay, since the difference is negative, we are getting a negative answer. So this will be my uh, answer. Did you understand the substitution of the formula? What did I do? I used the formula Sn equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1b. So what happens? S of 22 will be equal to, instead of n, I'm substituting 22 by 2 into 2 into a. a is 8 plus, uh, this is to n is 22 minus 1 into minus 5. So what will I get? 11 into 2 8 for 16 minus 110 plus 5. Minus 5 into 22 is minus 110. Minus 5 into minus 1 is plus 5. So I'm adding 16 and 5 in the bracket and getting 21. And this is minus 110. So this will be minus 89. And so we'll get minus 979 when we multiply 11 into minus 89. Okay, now this was a sum with the, this, uh, with an AP. Okay, that is another thing that uh, you need to know. The, let us find the sum of n natural numbers. Okay, now let us say that we have 1000 natural numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. to 1000. Okay, now what happens is we have to find the sum of these numbers. So what is my a equal to? a is equal to 1. b is also equal to 1. n is equal to 1000. Okay. Now the last term is also 1000. So l is equal to 1000. Since the last term is given, for the sn, I'm going to find, use the formula n by 2 into a plus l. Okay. So this is 
my formula that I'm going to use. So what I'm going to do that implies S thousand is equal to in this thousand by two into A is one plus last term is thousand. L is thousand. So what will I get? Thousand by two into thousand and one. Okay. Now this formula, let us see how we can deduce the formula for uh, sum of first n natural numbers. So when it was 1000, we got 1000 into 1001 by 2. Now let us try if the sum of numbers had to be for up to say 500. So what will happen? We will get S500 is equal to 500 by 2 into 1. A is 1 plus last term will be 500. So what will you get? 500 by 2 into 501. So when it is 500 terms, we are taking, we are, the answer I am getting is 500 into 501 by 2. When it is 1000, I am getting 1000 into 1001 by 2. So supposing I need Sn, then what will I say? Sum of first n natural numbers. Then I can write the formula as n into n plus 1 by 2. So this is the formula that we get from doing these two sums. Okay. So in case of finding the sum of first n natural numbers, the formula is Sn is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. I hope you have understood children. Let me uh, recap on all the three formulae for SN. Okay. Sum of n terms of an AP. SN is equal to n by 2 into 2A plus n minus 1B. This is the general formula that we use. In case the last term is given, we can use SN is equal to n by 2 into A plus L. Okay. Then, for sum of first n natural numbers the formula Sn is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. So if you remember this you can substitute and get the corresponding answers. Okay. Thank you children. Have a nice day. Stay home. Stay safe.